Isn't it an absolutely remarkable building and a work of genius? Of course it is the Sydney Opera House designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzum. What a marvel it is. It's a marvel of design and construction and engineering and how on earth they ever were able to build it. I have no idea. For about $118 million the final figure. Mind you, it started in 1956 when he won the award to design the Opera House. 57 work began and there were all sorts of steps and missteps along the way and a falling out, a notable falling out between Hudson and a later government, a later New South Wales government. Uh, but I'm so pleased that it was finally constructed and Hudson was finally recognised for his genius. Uh, in 2007, that building was placed on the World Heritage Register. And no wonder, just look at it, isn't it remarkable? And then Woodson passed away in 2008, but at least he had been credited for the glorious work he had done here. Marvellous story, Jorn Utzon, he was 90 when he died. So that's the Sydney Opera House, and let's turn around a little further to, oh, there's another famous Sydney landmark, isn't it? That is, of course, the Opera, no, it's not the Opera House, I've just done that. That is the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And I'm wondering if you've ever climbed to the top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. See up there where the flags are? So you start on the city side, uh, in a guided tour, I might tell you, and up you go right up to the pinnacle of the bridge and then back the way you came. So you don't go all the way over, but it's really a very interesting, uh, a very interesting journey. And, and as long as you don't have a fear of heights, you can get some terrific views of the harbour and of Sydney and all the glorious homes that, that dot the harbour. And I think, I'm pretty sure you can see uh, Kirribilli House and Admiralty House. Uh, so, you know, you get to see the full, the full works. And also beside the harbour bridge there, you can just see the overseas passenger terminal. There's no big ship in at the moment, which is a pity. But of course, uh, that's where the cruise liners come to in Sydney. And uh, I think in 2014-15, they had about 280 ships coming to the city and probably more since then. So amazing place uh, and, and worth exploring. If you haven't been to Sydney in a while, you better check it out.